One more time to figure out where the on off switch is. Of power. Uh, it's amazing, you know, I, I uh, show you this. I bought a little kettle. And it's just a, I don't know, a two cup kettle. And uh, plug it into my Jackery, which has uh, 110. It's, and uh, yeah, I, and there's this. Uh, Jack Ray ain't paying me a dime. This is free advertising for them, I guess. But, uh, yeah, and, and you can make coffee, you can charge cell phones, I can charge the boat battery, I can, I can charge my, uh, 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 what do you call it, radio, uh, you know, that type of thing, and uh, it's no problem. It just, uh, yeah, it handles it good. You're good for a day or so. Uh, I guess uh, at home it only takes maybe a couple hours to charge it, uh, but with the solar panels, uh, they put out 80 amps and uh, probably take five or six hours to totally charge it. It's at 75 percent, so you know if I get some sun today and put put it out on the trampolines, uh, you see, I had it on, uh, yeah. I had it zoomed up so you could see the geese and I didn't turn it back down so anyway um don't know if I'll edit that out or not maybe I'll just show you my mistake this is a real channel we we show our mistakes and we we hopefully learn from them not always anyway so uh yeah so we'll have this cup of coffee get some breakfast in it uh you know make sure everything shift shape uh, make sure the dinghy's tied up good to the back of the boat. I might take the front sail cover off and you know I'm gonna get ready to sail and hopefully we'll get some sailing in uh, today. Uh, when you're by yourself uh, it's difficult to get uh, but I'll share w whatever I can on the way home. Uh, I was gonna get the drone up this morning and uh, get some aerial shots. It's, uh, the drone's brand new to us, so I'm not sure. Uh, you know, I'm still learning how to fly it and operate camera. And, you know, learn as you go, you know. And uh, hopefully, uh, yeah, we'll get a couple of drone shots. Uh, I think when I get the big boat out, I'll float over to the flotilla because my friend said it would be really nice to have a, a Ariel of his boat, so we might even share that on YouTube, so Well, we'll do that. I don't know before we sail and so we're probably going to be Here for an hour and then over there for an hour and then and then we'll head out, but you know, I I, I uh, Slept good last night. I, I woke at three three got up uh, checked everything and uh, Everything was good, so I climbed back in the uh, sack, and uh, that was at three o'clock. And uh, I woke up and I looked at. Uh, you know, I have two pairs of glasses on board the boat. I have an older pair uh, that uh, probably are weaker in, in strength. I just use glasses for reading, and I took my phone out and I'm looking at it with these new, older glasses. And, it, and I think it says 8.15 and I thought, holy smokes, I slept in, I better get up. And so I got up and then I put my uh, regular glasses on, looked at the phone and it's, it's uh, 5.30. So now what do I do? Well, I'm up. So, so yeah, I, you know, brush your teeth and comb your hair and do all those things and and then plug the kettle in, make a cup of coffee, and then maybe uh, get on, uh, oh, here.
Yeah, guys, uh, get ready. Uh, <coughs> you'll see the orcas, and the first thing you can see is uh, some mist in the air. Uh, they, uh, when they breathe, they throw up mist from their blowholes, and you'll see that first. And uh, yeah, just keep your eyes open right here. Uh, it's pretty much where the orca footage starts. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, somebody asked me if I was afraid of the orcas, and I'm not, no, I have a great deal of respect, but I'm not afraid of them. They can damage a boat, but uh, not too many boats have been damaged uh, in around Vancouver Island. So, uh, you know, sometimes accidentally a whale hits a boat, but uh, it's not a common thing, that's for sure. Anyway, I'll shut up and you guys enjoy this.
Hello YouTube. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, we put a little more into it this time. I know it's far from perfect, and uh, but we're learning, and we're getting a little better. I can see that just by looking at the last two videos. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, remember, like and subscribe. Uh, the subscriptions really help us, and, and your views really help us. So, so thanks. Um, you know, you don't get a chance to take film of orcas very often from a boat. And, uh, yeah, we were very fortunate about that. So, uh, we're just blessed. Uh, I don't know if I got a whole lot else to say. I, I, uh, you know, I'm just overwhelmed by the response that we've got to the channel so far. Um. Uh, yeah, we're doing our best for you. And, uh, yeah, keep watching. We appreciate all of you. I love all of you. And come back and watch the next one. Anyway, this one is about the same length as the other ones were, which is good. We're keeping them in between like 13 and 16 minutes or something like that. Uh, I know that's my attention span, so it's probably most people, so... Uh, I don't know, other than that, uh, I'm uh, just really, really, really enjoying the sailing and being on the ocean, and I just feel so happy when I'm at the tiller and the wind's blowing. Uh, we went out the other day on a 32-foot westy and uh, a friend of mine's, and uh, we're going to maybe have a chance to sail it for a couple of days. So we'll take some videos and share that with you coming up. Uh, we did a bit of a tour. It was Heritage Day at the dock and uh, Maritime Heritage Society uh, kind of organizes it. And there's a lot of antique boats at the dock. And, and uh, yeah, wooden boats uh, are beautiful and uh especially when they're well-maintained and uh, ready for show. So we'll uh, show you some of that. And if you ever in Ladysmith, out in Vancouver Island, make sure you uh, get down to the uh, Maritime Heritage Society. Uh, they have a building in town as well as, uh, or up, yeah, in town, and as well as their wharf and uh, marina. So, uh, they have a big boathouse there with antique boats in, and they have a little museum you can walk through. Uh, and they have a lot of old marine uh, yeah, antiques, and uh, you get to see all that. So they have a wonderful uh, little coffee shop on the wharf, and, you know, you can get, uh, you know, something like Tim Hortons, only it's... Uh, private one and you really enjoy a coffee on the dock i'm sure anyway come back and see me again we'll see you on the next one bye for now